Hey everyone, I'm Helen Hebert and um, I get a lot of questions about my drying system. So I want to show you it in action. I've just made some paper and I'm going to load it. So I use triple wall corrugated cardboard and I'll put some links underneath this video about where I get supplies. Um, tri wall, the best place I've found to get it recently is Staples. It comes in four by eight sheets and you have to cut it down. I cut it to fit in front of my box fan. So I think this is about 24 inches wide. And um, I like the tri wall, it's extra sturdy. The layers in between are sturdier than just a normal cardboard. So layering three layers of cardboard is an option, but I find this just to be heavy duty. And then I have blotters. Well, no, actually, then I have a piece of aluminum window screening. You can buy this on the roll. It happened to be about the exact right width for, for my purposes. And I cut it, and this is a barrier. It keeps moisture from hitting the cardboard and collapsing the channels because then you start to get that shape on your sheets of paper, the collapsed corrugated. Okay, and then I have at least two, I happen to have three right now, blotters. These are heavyweight, I don't know the grammage. Um, and then I, I got some new blotters and they were really thin. So I'm just putting one on there. It's got a nice smooth surface. So my paper will get a smooth surface. So the texture of your blotters can affect your the surface of your paper. So next I take a piece of pressed paper, place it right on there. And then I have the opposite um, here. I've got another one of those thinner, smooth blotters, and then two heavier weight, and then another um, aluminum window screening. And then I'm gonna finish loading my drying system. So this is just another set that I will put paper in between and then I'll show you what I do at the end. So now that my drying system is loaded, I think you can see over here, I actually built these drying systems on platforms. There's some two by fours underneath and then just a piece of plywood with these carriage bolts in there. And so I've got this stacked. I have a piece of plastic sheeting that is just duct taped to my fan. And then I'm gonna put a board on top that's cut to the same size. Everything's the same size, it's stacked nice and neat. And then I have these, these could be wood, I just happen to have metal to keep the fan, the air from the fan from billowing out. And then I have these two shaped uh, boards that fit on top. And then I have, here I have tie-down straps. You either need weight on top or you need to um, have tie-down straps or something to apply pressure as the paper is drying so that it dries flat. So I'll connect those. The ends of um, this board are mitered so that this makes a nice uh, it helps us just to smoothly ratchet down. If it were square, it would be a little more force on the corners. This, by the way, I think was developed by Andrea Peterson with Hook Pottery Paper. And also, I don't go above my fan, so I need the fan air coming through. So the height of this is determined by the height of my fan, and I think I have 22 layers, so I can dry 22 sheets at a time. So I'll ratchet these. Right. As tight as I can. And then I'll turn the fan on. And I live in a dry climate, Colorado, so these will be dry in 24 to 36 hours. Thanks for watching.